From a distance, this open space could be mistaken for an abandoned sand field. But as one gets close, it soon becomes apparent it is a fumarole or steam that has reached the surface from underground. This hot spring is known as Semeliki and is one of the two found in the Semeliki National Park in western Uganda. Located between 670 and 760 meters above sea level, these hot springs are formed as a result of volcanic activity. Hot springs generally can reach up to 106 degrees Celsius in temperature. They are produced when geothermal heated groundwater emerges from the Earth's crust. Such water is heated when it gets into contact with magma. The high gradient temperature near magma causes it to become superheated. The area of the bay where the springs are found is filled with soggy water. This water is sulfuric and forms a mud pot, the result of mud and clay mixing and leaves a pungent smell around the area. To the local Bamaga tribe, these hot springs signify a great deal. It is no wonder that they protect them jealously. They believe their female ancestors are resident in the female hot spring and they can only sacrifice their female animals and uh, the women will always go there to look for fertility, to seek for safe delivery and uh, they, are, they, they usually also go there when there is calamity in the area. They try to go and seek their gods and talk to them during that period. This protection is why they have been safe from any would-be intruders. The hot springs have vents from which water containing a lot of sulfur shoots upwards in a geisha under intense pressure. On solidifying, the sulfur content creates a rock that stands still and is able to withstand the heat of the water that flows over it. The heated water from the hot springs can hold more dissolved solids. It has a very high mineral content containing everything from simple calcium to lithium and even radium. The vents take approximately 20 to 50 years before the solid material that comes from underneath block the vent so that it becomes extinct and other vents can open. Water from the hot springs is so hot that it can boil an egg and cassava in five minutes. This makes it dangerous to get close to and to touch. Besides geishas, there are other outlets that flow from underground due to little pressure in these particular areas. This water flows smoothly away from the bay of the hot springs to River Semeliki, which meanders through the national park. Most of the wetlands around the hot springs have been affected as a result. You know, the hot springs really is in the environment, is in a wetland environment. And uh, wetlands have specific species. And uh, the, 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 the wetland there is more or less uh, uh, a salt, it has salt, 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 uh, salt waters. And therefore, when you look at the vegetation, it is changed like that because of, the, of, of that kind of, uh, of those conditions, wetland conditions that are there, special, special plant species which you see there, and they, they almost look, because of that, that environment, that unique environment around there, that's why the plants are also different from the rest of the plants. Hot springs all over the world are often popular tourist destinations. They are also regarded for their medicinal value and are used as rehabilitation clinics for people with disabilities and other physical ailments. Craig Kadoda, NTV, Ecotalk. Thank <laughs> you.